I wander through each chartered street near where the chartered Thames does flow, and mark in every face I meet marks of weakness, marks of woe. In every cry of every man, in every infant's cry of fear, in every voice, in every band, the mind-forged manacles I hear. Here we are in Bunhill Fields, an extraordinary uh, old burial ground in the city of London. And I'm standing right by the gravestone of William Blake. It says his remains lie nearby. We don't know exactly where they are. But clearly it's a place of veneration because lying here at the bottom of the gravestone, uh, there's a big bunch of lilies. Someone's brought it in honor of the great poet. He's still venerated by people who come here. To see a world in a grain of sand and a heaven in a wild flower, Hold infinity in the palm of your hand and eternity in an hour. A robin redbreast in a cage puts all heaven in a rage. A dove house filled with doves and pigeons shudders hell through all its regions. I think William Blake's importance is growing and growing. A poem such as the Auguries of Innocence, for example, is one of the great examples of political poetry in the English language. He makes brilliant immediately memorable connections between the small and the large. A dog starved at his master's gate predicts the ruin of the state. Each outcry of the hunted hare a fibre from the brain does tear. The lamb misused breeds public strife and yet forgives the butcher's knife. The bat that flits at close of eve has left the brain that won't believe. And Blake makes these connections in this poem and, 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 and many other brilliant connections. Uh, and that's why I think he's still relevant today, even more so, in fact, than he ever was. A truth that's told with bad intent beats all the lies you can invent. He who mocks the infant's faith shall be mocked in age and death. William Blake has been a great source of inspiration to me since I was about 15 or 16. I was dumbfounded by this extraordinary poetry. And when I read The Marriage of Heaven and Hell, I thought, is this allowed? Is anybody allowed to write stuff like this? It was a, it was a revelation for me. And it still is. It still it continues to be so fresh and so amazing and so unusual, so original, so powerful and so profound that um, I've never outgrown, and I never will, my admiration and uh, stupefaction, really, in the face of what William Blake's done. Every night and every morn, some to misery are born. Every morn and every night, some are born to sweet delight. Some are born to sweet delight, some are born to endless night. God appears and God is light to those poor souls who dwell in night. It does a human form display to those who dwell in realms of day.